Working in mental health is a stressful and potentially dangerous environment to work in. At Northwestern Mental Health, we provide the safest duress alarm systems available. Hi, and welcome to the ASCOM training and awareness film. Over the next few minutes, I'll be taking you through the operation and maintenance of our ASCOM handsets and Dura Suite software. We'll also be covering some mandatory requirements that you may not be aware of. At the end of this film, you'll be more confident and competent in the use of the ASCOM system. This film is designed with your safety and the safety of others in mind. Safety first is the foundation of everything we do at Melbourne Health and the focus of every decision we make for our patients, our staff and our community. Here are four very important ASCOM reminders. Test your ASCOM handset every shift to ensure it works properly. Ensure it's visible at all times for accurate location detection. Double press your ASCOM when under duress. And remember, err on the side of caution. Any response is a good response. You may have more than one ASCOM model on your unit. Do you know what model or models you have? There are three models used across Northwestern Mental Health. One of them is the deck phone. The deck phone is used predominantly in aged care across Northwestern Mental Health. It stands for Digital Enhanced Cordless Telecommunications Phone. It can be used to communicate between staff from great distances and via a wide range of frequencies. The deck phone also has a communication function. This allows you to make internal and external phone calls. The other two models are the A51 and the A71. They are similarly sized handsets and very easy to use. They're specifically designed for workplaces where a high level of security is required. The difference between these two models is that the A71 has a message screen which notifies the user of the alarm once it's activated. The A71 alarm button is located on the top of the handset. The A51 duress button is on the front of the handset. The A51 handsets have a mute button located on the side. We advise all handset users to press the duress button twice when you feel threatened or in need of urgent assistance. Remember, any response is a good response. Take some time to familiarise yourself with your ASCOM handset. The A71 includes a mute button on the side and a series of menu navigation buttons that can be used to clear alarm messages and three soft buttons just beneath the screen to activate or deactivate the man down function. This activates after 10 seconds when the handset is tilted more than 55 degrees. Please note that it's highly recommended that this man down function never be turned off. During the pre-alarm phase, which is 10 seconds, both A51 and A71 handsets will beep and vibrate. To stop it raising an alarm, pick up the handset and press the side mute button. If you fail to press the mute button, a full alarm will be activated. DuraTest is designed to test that your ASCOM handset is fully operational. Testing and signing your ASCOM handset out at the commencement of every shift is compulsory throughout all units within Northwestern Mental Health. You are also required to sign your ASCOM handset back in at the end of your shift. You can't be 100% certain that your handset is fully operational unless you test it. To ensure it works properly and you have access to assistance in an emergency, you'll need to complete a Dura test. Select Dura test from the main menu on the base computer. Enter your ASCOM handset number and press start. Please note that your base computer is a dedicated PC that only runs the Dura Suite software and should never be switched off under any circumstances. At this point, your ASCOM handset will be taken out of the duress group. The duress group refers to your unit's handsets and may include the adjoining mental health units and security. Therefore, this ensures that the duress group will not be alerted to your test alarms during the Dura test. The Dura test screen will prompt you to enter your name and handset number. Then press the start test key. Next step is to activate double press alarm. If successful, a green dialog box will appear on screen. The final test is to activate a man down alarm. Simply place the handset in a horizontal position and as per the previous test, a green dialog box will appear on screen. At the end of this process, 
press the test complete button. Your handset is now ready for use. All units throughout Northwestern Mental Health use a logbook reporting tool associated with their Jura Suite. All tests and any faults must be recorded in these logbooks immediately. Working without an ASCOM handset will compromise your safety and the safety of your colleagues and anyone else on your unit or surrounding units. ASCOM handsets are equipped with receivers which pinpoint your location throughout your unit. In order for these units to work efficiently, the ASCOM handsets must be clearly visible outside your clothing. Wearing them underneath your clothing or in bags will prevent the handset from being located, which works by line of sight. When an ASCOM handset has been activated, an alarm message is sent to all other handsets in the duress group. The message will contain information about who has raised the alarm and where they are currently located. The procedure for responding to a duress alarm is specific to your individual unit. Consult your unit manager to verify your role in this emergency procedure. To ensure safety comes first in your unit, make the time to familiarise yourself with this procedure. Duress alarms that are not cleared from the base computer create a backlog which slows the response time for any new alarms. This means any alarms raised to the base computer are delayed and not received as quickly as necessary. Any delays place your colleagues and others at risk. The clearing of logged alarms is a key process in ensuring safety first. All alarms are sent to the Jura suite and displayed on the base computer. When an alarm is raised, a map of your unit will be displayed on the screen and the duress location highlighted. A detailed description and audible alarm will also be heard. After the incident is finalised and safety is restored, it is the responsibility of the shift leader to clear the alarm. To complete this task, click on the alarm that is to be cleared, then click the green Acknowledge button. Following the emergency, simply click the red Disable button to clear it from the screen. This will ensure all future alarms are received without delay. Let's review the key points. Northwestern Mental Health currently uses three ASCOM models, the DEC phone, the A51 and the A71. Testing and signing your ASCOM handset out at the commencement of every shift is compulsory. You are also required to sign your ASCOM handset back in at the end of your shift. Ensure that you're familiar with your individual unit's ASCOM emergency response procedure. Consult your unit manager to verify your role. All duress alarms are to be cleared from the base computer by the shift leader. Failure to do this places your colleagues and others at risk. Remember, always place your ASCOM handset back into the appropriate charging rack. Thanks Prue. That concludes our ASCOM training and awareness film. Please ensure these points are followed. And remember, safety first, every person, every situation, every time. If you require more information about the use of ASCOMs and the Jura Suite software, please contact your unit manager to arrange further training. I'm Cos Brushy. Have a safe day.